She's here to transform a man's button-down shirt into a fashionable dress. Orly Shani. Only Orly Shani can do this. Oh. this I want is you to know every shirt that's here at work for me is numbered and encoded. <laughs> yes, it's, and there's She's a been tracking device. Listen, tracking Kate device and I on. have an arrangement. Just no. gonna let me Trailer raid that right. closet of yours. <laughs> yeah. What, what, you just saw a shirt? Yeah. Okay. Well, so as we start coming into the summer months, that classic t-shirt or classic shirt dress is one of the one of the most popular items that designers create mm -hmm. and that end up in the stores because it's really elegant, it's really chic, it's really um, it's kind of can be dressed up or down depending on age. It's just a really right. great piece. Um, and so it's been on my mind lately because I've been seeing them in magazines and in stores. And we figured that this is something that we can easily make out of a men's shirt. And the best part about it is that it's completely one of a kind. It is your own. No one else has it. It's special and unique and custom. And that's, you know, obviously the most fun part about all of this. And your well, man will never rewear it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. you know, well, the well, great thing. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe. Um, the great thing, too, is that if you have, let's say, a shirt that your husband's no longer wearing, maybe it doesn't fit him anymore or, or he's just not wearing it, but you love it, you can do this to one of those shirts. Or you can just head over to Salvation Army. I bought this one. This is a Gap it's shirt. A nice you shirt. guys can see. Yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like. There is, th I, you can't see the tag, but it was three dollars and ninety nine cents, um, and that was what I started with. And this is how it ultimately ended up coming out. And so you can see, there's a couple things that I did um, aside from the sewing part of it. I cut my collar off because it was large. The lapel was yeah. large as well. So by cutting it off and creating that, what's that called? Like a Mandarin collar or whatever. Men's collar? Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So I did that. I cut that off, and then I also just chopped the cuff off. That way, it was easier to roll because right. the sleeves came down to right. Like, you know. Yeah, it does. So there's a couple little things that you can do, but it um, looks comfortable. Yeah, it's it really zhuzhy. Yeah, zhuzhy. Yeah, zhuzhing yeah. yeah. it up. Zhuzhing it up. Well, show us um, how we can make this. Okay. So the first thing you need is your shirt, and then your elastic. Now, I bought this is called sports elastic because this is going to go on the inside of your shirt, which means it's going to be touching your skin. So you don't want that really thick, kind of crispy elastic. You want to make sure it's really soft. Sporting elastic mm -hmm. is a great option. You also want a trim of some sort. Now, this is going to function in two ways. One, it's going to bring a little femininity mm -hmm. to a masculine shirt, and it's also going to provide some length. Mm -hmm. This is a men's shirt, and it might be long, but it might not be long enough as a dress. So oh. by getting a trim that adds some length, this added almost four inches to the bottom of my, mm -hmm. my dress, giving me a little more length right. to wear it as a, as a dress. Right. Now, what you're going to do when you're deciding on doing your elastic is put on the shirt and kind of see how much, um, like, uh, what's the word? Like scrunching. Yeah, scrunching. My brain isn't functioning. Scrunching feels like the right word. Okay. So how much scrunching you want. And you're going to measure your elastic. So what you need to do when measuring it is you need to pull it as absolutely tight as you can. Why? And say Because this is what it's going to. So let's say you start here and you start here. That's where we're going to cut it. Okay. And when you let go, that's how small it is. If I had oh. just put it mm -hmm. from here to here, mm -hmm. it's not going to do anything. It's not sure. gonna right? So okay. by going like this, when we sew it, it's going to... Uh -huh. So let's okay. take a look at how I actually got the sewing part of it done. Now, there I did. I measured my elastic. I pulled it really tight. I knew exactly how I wanted it, and I cut that distance. Now, I do the same thing on the back. You want to try to keep the height of it around the same front and back. That way, the, uh, the, the gathering is done it. in the same yeah, place. Yeah, the placement of that. Exactly. Now, you're only going to pin it at the center, and that's it. You're going to pin it on the back at the center, because you're going to be stretching it when you okay. sew it. So we pin it in the center, and now I go over to the sewing machine, and you stretch it all the way, and you have to really create a lot of tension. Pull it towards you and pull it away from you, and sew. That's what's going to create when it comes back together, it's going to do what the elastic is supposed to do, which is create a tapered waist. Right. So we're pulling, pulling, pulling really tight. Do you really do both, tight. Si both sides of yeah, the Yeah, top and bottom. bottom. Exactly. Okay. And then you're going to do both, and then I would use either fabric glue or sewing that front panel down because that's your skirt. You do not want that opening. No. So you want to huh. glue that down, and that is how this one came out here. So I've already added a little bit of the trim, and I'm going to show you how I did it. But see, now this is glued. So now when I'm sitting, this isn't going to pop open. open. Right. But you leave the top open. You know, this is open. Right. So right. you can step into a question. Yeah. yeah. So if you put the elastic on and it does that, doesn't it 
bring up the dress. Okay, so the, the great shirt. thing about doing it this way is if I went all the way around, it would do two things. One, it would create a lot of extra volume here. By leaving the side over the hip mm -hmm. with absolutely no elastic, it keeps a nice flat shape. Right. And it brings all the attention to the front here, which is really right. flattering. Mm -hmm. If I had gone all the way around, it would go like this. No, that's not because you good. don't want it. So you want to focus, you want to focus yeah. right here. And you also, a, stop. yeah, a really important note, you do not want to pull the elastic tight over that button placket. So you're going to pull really tight on this side, so, so, so. When you get to the middle, so flat, and then pull again. Because otherwise this is Yeah, gonna... that was my next thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's... Okay. And now, guys, the last thing you're going to do is whatever trim you've chosen to do, I recommend using Fabri-Tac for this instead of sewing because otherwise you're going to really have to follow the existing seam line that exists on your hem perfectly in order for it not to look messy. And you can wash it. Yep. It won't come this, off. The glue won't come off. This won't come I, off. I keep asking you that. It just seems like this is a miracle glue. This it, really I, is. No, it is. The space shuttle's made out of that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't tell me stuff. So you would I believe everything you said. <laughs> so you're gonna do it. You'll create a little overlap right there, and then you'll cut that to be perfectly even. But ultimately, this would be this little finished one. Look how cute. And look how well. I unbuttoned it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, sassy. Yeah. So it would just be <laughs> like this, and you can roll these sleeves Saucy. up. If you, yeah. <laughs> I just realized it was fully open. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, but that's really that's really it. You're gonna focus cute. here on the center. You're gonna focus you on the back. On you could absolutely yeah, use the trim. Like I could use this trim on my on my sleeve here if I wanted, like a nice little matching yeah. cuff. You could absolutely do, and that's just personal design. Right. Whatever you want, just make sure that this trim yeah, gives Mark you as much length as now. is needed. Yeah. No.